Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to EU4 as Mongolia. When we last left off, we were just in the process of conquering the Ming in what may or may not be the last time. We may even take the mandate this time, though I suspect we won't until we have actually gone to war with the Commonwealth at least once to like carve off some kind of state here just so that we're not touching them. I mean, I could also just move my capital to an island somewhere, like maybe over to Japan, live over there, enjoy the fine Japanese culture, and let that permeate the Mongol nation. Or, we might uh, not do that, it really depends. I'm kind of wondering where they're going to turn up. It does scare me just a little bit. Alright, you guys have all sieged that, so you guys get on over there. You're heading on over there. These guys are heading on down. They are going over there. So, actually, yeah, you can, uh... Actually, I guess you might as well follow them all the way down here. Just, uh, just to be on the safe side. Okay, we have successfully taken a bit of land over here. So now we are going to start playing the most dangerous game of going down here. We are going to conquer Mexico. That's, that's going to be awesome, isn't it? We're going to have our very own Me Mongolian Mexico, also known as Mongolico, which is probably incredibly offensive. I mean, it sounds like something that would be incredibly offensive, possibly, so there is that. But that's what we're going to call it, because apparently we don't care about being offensive or something. Uh, you guys are wandering on over there. We are killing more Mingles, which is not actually what we are called at all. Where they are, it's not who they are, it's not what they are, it's not even... The Ottomans have declared war on Venice, so... It never ceases to amaze me how, especially in this patch, like, in, in previous versions of the game, I have actually been able to bankrupt and, like, cripple the Ottomans for the rest of the game. Apparently, I'm not allowed to do that anymore. For some inexplicable reason. Don't know why, but that is... You know, it is what it is. In fact, you know what? I wondered to myself... Am I wasting my time with the Ottomans here? Should I perhaps be focusing on trying to sabotage the Commonwealth instead? By sowing discontent and sabotaging reputation and recruitment and everything? Because every time I take out... Yeah, because look at this. They've got a lot of men. They're rebuilding their manpower. They actually have a lot of mercs as well. They, they can't possibly have that much money. But then again, maybe they do. I don't know. These are the questions. What I do know is that life is actually going okay for us. Could be going better, could be going worse. And I would actually really, really like it. I might just go to war with Champa and Ayutthaya and then that'll be how I make them into tributaries. Because I'll be good. Alright. I do hate that. Alright, so... Ming Mexicans are doing stuff. Our spy master is dead. Uh, colonial range, that's actually useless. I don't have the money for any of these other things, though, so we'll kind of just ignore it for now and hope that things somehow work out. All right. That takes care of that. And basically now, I, I really shouldn't have taken their capital yet in retrospect, but I did, so we have to live with that now. Actually, you know what? Might be a good idea to get a war in with Tibet right now, because the Ming are not going to be able to do anything about it. Maybe I'll... No, I, I don't think I can turn them into a tributary while at war. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, that's how life... That's how life, excuse me, is sometimes. And... Yeah, Ming is just kind of hanging out over here, so that's good for them. Uh... Meanwhile, well, we are seeing Separatist Rebels here, so maybe if I am very lucky, we'll actually get some of them. I suspect the answer to that is no, though. Like, I'd have to keep this war going for a rather extended period of time, which uh, I actually intend to do, as it just so happens, so... It is not a terrible thing to consider here as we turn off all these forts. 
In fact... In fact, you know what? I am gonna move my guys over here just on an intercept-related course. Just to try to keep these guys from getting in the way. Because they're gonna try to siege this stuff back, most likely. Uh, Japan, you're doing your thing. Oh, I hate that so much. All right. Well, we're we're still making progress. We're we're making our way down there. We're losing more men every time, but it is okay. Though the big problem, of course, is that we're actually going to need to siege siege out something in order to like a, a fort over here in order to take any land, if I am not mistaken. Which is a touch unfortunate, but hey, that's life. And again, yeah, sure, I'll tax Oregon. Oregon. Oh, there's actually a fort here. Wonderful. There's actually technically seven people. And yet... Oh, good lord. Okay, so how do we deal with that? The answer is obviously that we've got to bring... We've got to bring some people over there. We can't... Sure, why not? I can't afford you, Mr. Rich Merchant, but... Alright, we've got it. We've got everything. Everything is slowly coming into place. In a very slow fashion. Alright, Sidia exists and is a thing, isn't it? Alright, we'll go ahead and kill you. Aha! You thought you were being clever, Mr. Mongolia, or Mr. Mr. Ming. But in fact, I was playing you this whole time. Oh, and then you're gonna walk on into that. Well done. Excellent, excellent. Kill them all! That's the good stuff. Okay. In fact, I could probably make Sidia into a tributary or something, maybe. It'd be a small tributary, but I could do it. Where are you guys going? Oh, they're probably going over here, so let's... Let's head that off. Obviously, this is going to be where the rebels spawn. As you know, that's just how... That's just how the game works. The rebels always spawn in the most inconvenient place possible, because that's just how rebels rule. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about setting up stuff over here. Alright, let's send our colonial marines over. Locally, locally. Well, at least you guys are kind of not getting in my way too, too much. I am concerned about life. But, uh, you know, there's not much I can do about that. And we're actually full on Diplo points again, so let's go ahead and upgrade. Uh, Beijing. No, nope, not Beijing. Yes, actually Beijing. There we go. We'll do that. Yeah, that should keep us tied it over until next year. But we will not be ahead of time anymore. Spain has decided to rival me. Why, is all I can ask. Like, it just seems like such a random, needless act of violence. And we have been friends this whole time. Why, Ming? Alright, good. We can get some stuff going on over there. If we want. There we go. And then we'll kill them, hopefully. And it's all rough land over here, so we're not going to be getting the best fights. Plus, I don't even have a leader on this guy, which is also incredibly stupid. There was a battle of some kind over there that I probably should have been paying attention to. Alright. I'm going to send you over here. Alright, random, random money is always appreciated. Alright. The Commonwealth is spying on me. Not that we're surprised, of course. Alright, what else do we do with our life right now? Well, we keep an eyeball on what's going on over here. We land our colonial marines. They have been landed. Uh, go with that. And you can head on down here. And that should work out for us. Alright, good stuff. Separatists! That's a lot of separatists, too. These are Wu Wun Separatists. Okay. I can dig it. And I did turn off all the forts in the area, so... That should allow them to spawn and separate faster, hopefully. 
I see you're getting destroyed over there, Lana. That's somewhat unfortunate. Mal was declared war on Malabar. Okay, you can do that, I guess. Good thing I didn't make you into a tributary, I guess. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, Ming is doing stuff as well. We'll sabotage the Ottomans and then we'll pull away Kilwa. I feel sad about the whole situation that's going on over here. But then again, 45... How many people do the Ming actually have? Ming has... 21,000 men. Which means they will be able to build up. Alright, I wonder to myself. And by that I mean let's let's get out of here. Alright. Yeah. No, don't damn it, Korea. Okay, we can we can prevent stuff like that from happening again by telling Korea to be passive. Don't don't do anything, just sit there, be calm, relax, be cool. How are the colonies doing? Min separatists? Oh, more separatists! There's no way they'll stop them all. And it, when they pop, we will be able to get ourselves delicious, delicious. Okay, this is all woo, is it? Not all of it. Just, uh... Just this. So if I only take this land here... Alright. And this is going to be interesting. I do need to take this land here, so... If the Z Separatists spawn first, we're going to have to kill them. Kill all of them. Even the firstborn. Alright, I'll send you back. You're good and grand. You are sieging stuff, so that'll be good. We'll be able to take uh, Ming Mexico away from them. Take all of it. Teach them everything. About why it is not okay. Okay, good. We actually finished that. I hate how it keeps spawning me up there in... I assume it's some weird fog of war glitch. Which is very annoying. But uh, not much I can do about that. Alright. Good. I I'm actually happy about this, because remember, we do want the Separatists. Because that'll that means that's just more tributaries for us. Alright. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to get most of these tributaries, in fact. Alright, so how do I want to do this? Ah yes, the Ottomans. Let's uh, zoom over there. And yeah, we'll sabotage their recruitment. They've probably already recovered from our last round of sabotage arization. Yeah, look at that. They're already back up to 56,000 men. Like, how do they keep recovering? It's like the game has cheats or something going on there. Not that I'm saying the game's cheating, but the game's cheating, clearly. Okay. We also need to be able to get a war going with Pasai here, so I should actually colonize over here. Because remember, they're allied with the Commonwealth, and actually, actually that works out really well for us because... Uh, is Bohemia a great power? They're not, which means we might even be able to pull Bohemia in once... Because uh, we go to war with Pasai, Commonwealth comes in. I mean, it's, it's the Commonwealth that we act... Oh, and there's Great Britain over here as well. That's... and France. That's something to be concerned about. We'll deal with them when the time comes. Oh, I hope the game would not be so... Like... I don't... Surely if I put a colony here... It would not cause me to lose mandate for having Great Britain here. Ottomans are over here. That explains some things, I guess. Oh, Lord. I mean, I like this notion of... Uh, oh... Yeah, I probably don't want them to do that. Okay, so if more Separatists do not pop in the immediate, immediately approaching future, then uh, we will have to do something about that. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to fire you for 30 ducats. We'll see if we get someone somewhat more useful for our immediate concerns. All right. Do 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 da 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 dibbly da ba ba doobly do and so on. All right, all right. Let's actually talk to the Ming. Let's see what we can squeeze out of them. Okay, first of all, I would like everything that belongs to colonial Mexico. First of all, um, 
Parasan. Uh, I don't suppose I'd be able to get you to sell me your maps. No, you won't share your maps? God, you people are annoying. Alright, so that means I'm gonna have to actually go through the... through this screen and figure out what provinces here sound like they are... Ah. Uh, that doesn't sound very... Let's see, what sounds North American-y or Central American-y, actually? Probably skipping a bunch of these. If I knew the names, Macau, that... No, that's actually over here. Midway, Naming, Nanchang. Oh, boy. Terrible at cultural names. None of these actually sound right. I'm just clicking on them in the random hope that I'll get something here. Yeah, we do want that. Not you. Not you. Alright. I mean, I don't need to take every single... every single province over here. But I would like to. And, you know, just because... Just because it would make my life easier. Actually, what am I doing? If I really want to make my life easier, instead of being an idiot and just kind of wandering around like that, I would break off a couple of guys and then just go exploring over here. There's the good stuff. All right. And you go over there. All right, let us discover the new world. And we're getting more treasure fleets. I love that. I love treasure fleets. They're very treasureful, I guess. All right, you can uh, you go here and then here. Wait, this looks like I've sieged it. I thought you were supposed to share land that. Ah, hell, they took the capital. Then again, I don't need the capital. Okay, there we go. That's that. All right. Stuff. I'd actually like you to drop a dude down there. Switch it out. Can't take that, so that's not actually part of their land. Alright, just, just make sure we've taken everything. Ah! Ming! Ah! My diplomacy. Or diplo points. Forgot about you. Uh, you I should probably not spend just yet. And... All right, getting back over another gosh darn fort. All right. I want this, and I want this, and I want this. I think that's everything over there. I can't concede. I could claim the Mandate of Heaven, but I don't think the time for that has come just yet. Not yet. We have broken the Ming quite severely, but they're not weak enough. Now, oh, what's this? Ah, Huawei Separatists. Okay. What culture are you? How do I know what land you may or may not be interested in? Min Separatists. There's Min over here. There's you Separatists. There's more you Separatists. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see. What if I take this kind of land right here? What are we looking at as far as, uh, Ayutthaya might form a coalition against me. Champa may just become a tributary. Hmm. We just reach through here, like that, get a crazy partitioning going there? The answer, I think, is yes. Yes, we do. I will also do this and revoke all the cores I can. Which is actually not that many. Alright. That works out. That is perfectly fine for me. Ah, we'll take one more province. And this will cause 131% overextension. But I can just raise all this until we're back down under it, so... Oh yeah, baby. I have cut the Ming in half. And that is a good feeling. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burn everything. Just enough so that I feel safe in the knowledge 
that uh, we won't explode in a giant ball of fire. It's not right away. We may explode in a burning ring of fire at some point, and it will burn, burn, burn as the flames get higher, but we will probably, probably not immediately die. Just, uh, just mostly die. Which, when you think about it, is still a win. And I'm going to get rid of you. Uh, you guys are going to merge back up over here. And let's see. Yeah, we're going to raise some of the land over here. Not all of it, just, just enough. Oh, this is actually not quite a colony yet, is it? Alright, how are we looking... Okay, we gotta... Okay, we're still 114, so we're probably gonna have to burn some, some stuff here. What's this? Alright, Condottieri. Gotta raise this a little bit. And, you know what, instead of... Instead of just burning... Alright, I'm gonna have to burn some of this land. Alrighty then. I don't... I don't want to. But I've gotta. It is the only way to protect the safety and security of my new empire, so... Alright. I, I think that'll... that'll about do it. So let's, uh... Or everything here. Or everything here. Or this. Or this. Or this. And over in the new world, we're only going to core enough to form, uh, what, what were we calling it? Mongolico? So, let's, uh, I think this is actually all in, in the Mexican region. So, we will core you. You have no cores whatsoever. We will core you. We will ignore you. Well, actually, no, you're, you're a full province, so we'll core you. Alright, so that's, that's so far so good. What is this? One, two, three, four. Okay, and then just one more. Alright, good. I think... Okay, we're at 101%, so we actually need to burn one more thing. Because you never want to be over 100%. 100 over 100%, that's the magic number when hell literally bursts from, you know, the ground and everyone dies. So, keep an eyeball open for that. You don't want that happening. We will, of course, do this. And assuming that the rebels leave me alone, we should be okay. All right, let's let's have a look at said rebels. Let's see, five years, four years. Oh yeah, this is gonna be Punjabi separatists. What? All the way over here, all of a sudden, huh? Well, that's a an unexpected twist. But it's okay. I'm I'm good with it. We have lost the effects of trading in Chinaware, that's unfortunate. Uh, no. France can go screw itself for all the pain and suffering it has caused me over the years. You have no allies. Ha 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 ha. Actually, France, since Spain decided to... Why do you hate me so much? Because you want my provinces. Oh, this is not going to be good, is it? I will attempt... I will attempt to be friendly here. I will attempt make you an ally instead of an enemy. Alright, so with any luck, I mean, unfortunately, we're not going to see any rebels over here at this particular point in history, which is a shame, but that's kind of how life works sometimes. Uh, actually, no, you should probably stay there. We're probably going to go to war with Ming again very shortly, because like I said, I want to go to war with Tibet, and then we can go to war with, uh, with these guys again. Yeah, it's going to finish on its own, so I'll be fine. Okay, good. Everything has worked out exactly according to plan, more or less. And I am a happy, happy, happy man. As you can evidence by the fact that I repeated happy several times. Now, in a fashion that is definitely in no way uh, concealing any secret emotions of any kind of secret nature. Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Why not do that? I mean, we've got money, we might as well spend it. Because we can. 
maybe even getting some more universities would be a wise choice as well. Might be a good idea. Like in Beijing, some of these high development provinces around here. We'll just, we'll spread them around, because, I mean, we've got, like, 40 years, and then we've got that coming for us. Now, uh, you can wander on over here as well. Everything is good. This is what kin means. They love me. Uh, the Ottomans are doing Ottoman-related things. We're going to have to go to war with the Ottomans again soon-ish. We, at some point, have to go to war with the Commonwealth. We can't ignore it forever. We need, we need to do something. Hey, Novgorod exists. You would not like to be a tributary, though I could make it happen. So that's always good. Alright, so our plan is basically, uh, sabotage their recruitment. Because that'll help. Uh, Bohemia. Bohemia's actually doing pretty well for themselves. I wonder if they would join the war. I'm going to assume the answer to that will be no. But if we... If we wait around, like, the idea is basically just make sure that, um, make sure that Bohemia doesn't join. Because none of these other guys are particularly bothersome, except for Pasai over there, Pasai. However your name is spelled and or pronounced. I should colonize over here, shouldn't I? I keep saying I'm going to, but then I don't. Which is not good. Alright, we touch you now. Right, that's an, a, a very important thing. I would actually like... You know, screw you, game. Stealing my precious, precious stability. Alright, you are... You are that. Alright. I am relatively confident that Ming will not be able to stop... This. Alright, no more tribal conquest against France. That's perfectly fine. Well, they are allied to Ayutthaya. So, ooh, I could actually fret in war against them and get a battle going that way, you say. Well, I know what we're going to be doing next episode, probably. But uh, before we do that, I mean, at some point I need to focus on the West, but I, I do want to make sure that we deal with this. Plus, we've got, like, epic amounts of border gore over here, so we are going to have to do something about that as well. But for now, that is going to do it for this episode, so until the next time... Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below to let me know what you're thinking. And I will see you all in the next video.